Hello friends, this video on probability part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. Let's find the probability distribution for the number of doublets in a three throw for a pair of dice. So we have this die and we throw it three times. This particular die is thrown three times. And doublet means what? Doublet, if you see, then the same number that is, you may get 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. This is the doublet. We have to find the probability distribution of number of doublets. So, in one throw, in one throw, probability of doublet is what? This will be 6 by 6 numbers by total elements will be 6 into 6, 6 by 36, that is 1 by 6. Similarly, probability of not doublet will be 1 minus 1 by 6, correct? That is 5 by 6. So I have the probability of doublet and I have the probability of not doublet. Correct. Since I am throwing it thrice, thrice, it may happen that. I gave made get doublet in zero times, none of the throws. I may get doublet in one times, two times, and three times. Right? I may get doublet in one times, two times, and three times. So let's solve this. For one times, the way we represent is probability of x is equal to zero. That is random variable. X is equal to zero is nothing but you get don't double. You don't, you know you don't get any doublet. That is you are looking for probability of doublet dash, doublet dash, doublet dash. You don't get doublet in any throw. Right? Since they are all independent events, this is nothing but probability of d dash into probability of d dash into probability of d dash. And that is nothing but 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. And that is nothing but 125 by 26. That is my x is equal to 0. That is this guy. 0 doublet. The second is one doublet. So one doublet can be the first guy can be doublet, second two guy may not be doublet. If there's a second guy can be doublet, in this case, the third guy can be doublet. So three options for one doublet. So there are also independent events. I can write this as nothing but probability of d into d dash into d dash like that. So if we solve this. This becomes probability of d is what 1 by 6, d dash is 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 plus d dash is 5 by 6, d is 1 by 6 into d dash 5 by 6 plus d dash is 5 by 6, 5 by 6 and d is 1 by 6. Correct? So if you solve this, you get 15, 75 by 2 by 6. That is probability x is equal to 1. Probability x is equal to 2. So I'll take this part now. So it can be, we are looking for two doublets. So it can be first two doublets. It can be first and last doublet. Or it can be last two doublet. Right? Three options. So if you saw this guy also, doublet is 1 by 6. The again doublet 1 by 6. Not doublet is 5 by 6. Plus again doublet is 1 by 6, not doublet is 5 by 6, again doublet is 1 by 6, plus not doublet is 5 by 6, doublet doublet 1 by 6, 1 by 6. So if we solve this, what you get is 15 by 2, 1, 6. Similarly, probability for getting 3 doublets is nothing but probability of doublet doublet doublet, and that is nothing but 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 into 1 by 6. Correct? That is the number 1 by 2. So the probability distribution, if you see, will be you have the values of x, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And here you have the probability of x. For 0, it was uh, 125 by 216. For 1, it was 75 by 216. For 2, it was 15 by 216. For 3 it is 1 by 2 by 6. 
and if you add if you see if you add p uh, pi where i is equal to 0 to 3 what you get is 125 plus 75 that is 200 plus 15 215 plus 1 216 by 216 that is so this is the probability distribution of random variables we'll use these things to find mean standard deviation and all in the future slides but just now understand that random variables are nothing but a variable whose values depend on a random experiment and we can find the probability distribution of a random variable so the question says on contains five red two green balls two balls are drawn randomly x represents the number of green balls what are the possible values of x and is x a random variable so you have one which has two greens and five red balls two balls are drawn so if two balls are drawn zero can be green one can be green or two can be green right both can be green three possible scenarios correct so probability of x is equal to zero that means zero green is nothing but probability of getting red and red correct so since it is without replacement without replacement right so maybe red one red two you can see so i'll mark it g1 g2 i mean any any two red numbers both are different actually so this is nothing but two different red numbers right first is red second is red so this is nothing but probability of red one into probability of red two given first is red one please note it is not independent not independent why because we are not replacing it we are not we are taking out the ball first ball we are not replacing it so this will be the value so this will become probability of red one will be one two three four five total is uh, five red and two green total is seven so first red probability will be five by seven in second case probability of again red given the first one is red will be in this case you took out one red so you are left with four red two green total six and red you are left with four this will be the probability of second red given first red correct that will come out to be 21 please note it is not an independent variable right so we are probability of r1 r2 i didn't write as probability of r1 into r2 i write wrote this guy as r2 given r1 in case of independent variable this probability of r2 given r1 is nothing but probability of r2 correct so in this we, we can write so this is what you get probability of x is equal to 1 1 red right sorry 1 green so it can be have a red green or green red so this is nothing but probability of red into probability of green given first is red plus probability of green into probability of red given first is green so probability of red is we know nothing but 5 by 7 probability of green given first is red so if first is red you are left with 4 red 2 greens so probability of green will be 2 by 6 because 6 balls out of which 2 are green plus probability of green in the first instance will be 2 greens out of 7 balls 2 by 7 probability of red even the first was was green was you are left with 1 green and 5 red right this condition you should take 1 green out of this so you are to find the probability of red that is 5 red out of 6 balls correct so if you add this you get 20 y probability of x is equal to 1 that is probability of both green that is nothing but probability of green 1 into probability of green 2 given first one is green so probability of green 1 is nothing but there are 2 greens out of 7 balls to start with you took out 1 green you are left with 1 green 6 and 5 red there is one green and total 5 plus 1, 6 balls. That is nothing but 2 by 48. So if you see all the values are less than 1 and if you add these values 20 by 42, 20 by 42 and 2 by 42 you get 1. If you add this 20 by 42 plus 20 by 42 plus 2 by 42 you get 42 by 42 that is 1. Since the sum is coming out to be 1 and all are less than 1 you can say that yes it is a random variable. The trick here was that it is not an independent event, so you have to take care of this. 
So the question says, let x represent the difference between the number of heads and number of tails obtained when a coin is tossed six times. Possible values of x we are asking for. So six times it can have six head, zero tail, right? Five head, one tail, four head, two tail, three head, three tail, two head, four tail, one head, five tail, and zero head, six tail. Let's find the difference. So in this case, difference will be six minus zero is six. In this case, difference will be five minus one is four, difference between the number of head and tail. Here, four minus two is two, three minus three is zero. Again, two minus four is minus two, but we'll take the, uh, the positive part because I'm just asked to find the difference between head and tail. So head and tail difference here it is again two. Here one minus five is minus four, but I'll take the positive part four. Zero minus six is minus six, but I'll take the positive part six. So if you see the difference are only zero two four six. So the value of x can be zero two four six. So these are the conceptual question where you understand what are the possible values of x, so that you can solve similar kind of questions where you define now. Let's suppose find the the random variable, the probability of random variables or the, or the random probability distribution for this case. So you can, you know the value of x can be these values and then you can find the probability distribution. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.